Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at filtering uh, MQT data. Now very often the MQT data that comes in is in JSON format and often you want to extract part of that data. Maybe you're actually storing the data or maybe you're passing it on to another processor. So you want to extract bits of that data um, from the incoming data stream and do something with it. So in this video we're going to take a look at doing that and we're going to start off with some simple um, JSON data and here is the data here. You can see here I've got um, four measurements, time, pressure, temperature and battery and I'm going to extract bits of those. So if we go on to the function and there's a bit of note at the function. Um, depending on how the data comes in, you may need to either use the JSON node to actually convert it into a JavaScript object, or you just use this parse function here to convert it into a, a JavaScript object. Now, there's a note here saying we could use a different message object. I've used the same message object, and I've just deleted the bits that I don't want. So you can see here, um, I've deleted the, the battery key from there so the battery is not actually being sent out and all I'm doing here is I'm setting the message dot temperature to the temperature the pressure to the pressure the battery to the battery so what we're going to get coming out is we're going to get a, a message dot payload data stream and we're also going to get the individual measurements and and you can choose which one you're going to go to use so let's just have a quick look at this and the, and send it and here you can see here the payload object we've got the time pressure temperature and version and you can see if I look in here I've added the the version here there and I've deleted the battery we don't see the battery in here and also as individual measurements we've got the temperature pressure battery and time now that's pretty straightforward um, and that's really all you need if you're working with very simple incoming data. Now, if your data stream is, is uh, in CSV format, which is this one here, and we've got the measurements here, now usually we're going to have uh, a header or a column um, table, and you can see that I've got that in the function node later on, um, but it's not in the data stream here. So these are individual measurements in CSV format. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter it. Now this is, I find, uh, the more interesting one is because it's a lot more flexible. Uh, there's my header. We've got the time, pressure, temperature, and battery. Now what I want to do here is only, I want to not only extract um, measurements, but I actually want to reverse them. And here we've got a mapping function. So I'm mapping zero to zero. So the first column is going to be one-to-one -one mapping. But I'm mapping column one to column two. So in my output data stream, column one is actually the incoming column two. And the column outgoing column two is the incoming column one. And if we just look at it, the result, there is my column one, which is the timestamp, and then I've got a 9.77, and I've got a 70.14. Now, if we look in the outgoing time, we've got the timestamp, and then we've got the 71.4, which is actually that one there, the second one, and we've got 9.77, which is the uh, second column here. So we're doing actually a filtering, and we're doing a mapping. Now, again, this is quite a trivial case because we've only got a few variables but in a lot of cases we could have um, lots of variables we could have sorry, lots of values we could have tens we could have hundreds of values that we need to actually filter or we need to need to map and the function that does the mapping is here you can see it here we just swap the keys around okay uh, so far so good now this little flow here is basically um, a flow you should be familiar with we're just converting incoming JSON data into CSV so normally our JSON data uh, income data is JSON uh, we can actually process it as JSON or we can first convert it into CSV using the CSV node here uh, and I'll just show you that for completeness and you can see 
this is what's coming out of it uh, what's going into it is the JSON data that one that okay now our next one is probably the most interesting and it's also going to be our last one now if we look at our JSON data here the data is nested it's a bit more complicated example it's more typical example where we've got lots of values coming in and we want to extract some of them we don't don't want to use all of them uh, but we've got nested data now the CS the plain CSV file will not convert a, uh, a nested JSON input into a CSV output so what we have to do first is flatten it and to do that I've got this function here this flatten function so we just come in the message our payload we call the, the flatten function and then we return the the message very simple and there is the flatten function now I'll put a link to the article on the site that describes this and it I didn't write this um, this function uh, I can't remember whether chat GPT wrote it for me or, or I found, found it on GitHub but it does mention it in the in the article which is which is on the site so this is going to flatten our incoming data and if we just run it let's delete that just interested in the first one you can see here is there's my data now it's all flattened and you see the Wi-Fi it's Wi-Fi dot AP Wi-Fi dot SID Wi-Fi dot um, B SID and channel and you can see that in the incoming data Wi-Fi is nested you can see it's a, it's a nested object so they get prefixed so the AP becomes Wi-Fi dot AP and you see it here and the signal becomes Wi-Fi dot signal you can see it here okay so that flattens the JSON objects the JSON object in and now we send it into a CSV node which is the second one down here and this is debug 209 so if we look at debug 209 you can see coming out of there as a payload I've got Wi-Fi.ap, sleep mode and power. So what I've done here is I only wanted to extract or I wanted to send on the the access point, the sleep mode and the power. So all I did here was configure the column. So I'm only extracting those three bits of bits of data. But what I did do and I did the reason I've done this is because I'm passing it again into another CSV node to convert it back to JSON. I'm sending the column headers with the message so when the you can see here the column headers go out and so it does the data coming out here and then it goes into another CSV node and this CSV node is going to convert it the first line contains column the first row contains column names and now this is going to convert it back to JSON and if we look back here then we've got our final output on debug 210 there's debug 10 is our outgoing JSON object so that's con converting from JSON flattening it into CSV extracting bits of data and then sending back into another CSV node to convert it back into JSON okay so that's all I wanted to cover actually it's um, how to extract um, data and map data from incoming uh, data stream usually an MQTT data stream but it can be any any data stream so that brings us to the end of the video I hope you found the video useful um, and as usual if you did you can always like it and if you want to get notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel and if you do have any comments then please leave them below until next time goodbye